Hey guys, welcome to a new movie review. Today I'm talking about a film from the late 80s that you probably have never heard of for the simple reason that um, other films have used this concept better. And strangely enough, this film is basically two really good concepts from two really good movies combined into one movie. And that is the film Vice Versa. It's that film here with Judge Reinhold and Fred Savage right here. Uh, I'm not reviewing this film at the moment anyway. This like father, like son. Tip. So we are reviewing um, this one, this vice versa one right there. So uh, this film came out in 1988. Um, and like I said, this film basically is um, two films that are already a lot better than this movie. Um, and that's Freaky Friday and Big. Uh, so basically what this film is about is this father is really busy at this toy company that he works for. He has a son that has a passion for music. Um, he's played by Fred Savage. You can definitely tell this is kind of Fred Savage's Wonder Years times back when this was filmed because it was filmed in the 80s. Uh, so that was roughly around the same time that Wonder Years was filmed. And so this father's always busy at this toy company, and um, he never really has time to spend with his son, and the son's always trying to make it big in the rock and roll community and trying to get noticed with his music and everything. And so the father goes on this uh, business trip overseas and he finds this skull artifact thing that he thinks is going to get a lot of people interested in America that could potentially be like a toy line and things like that. So he brings it home, um, is really not getting a lot of attention like he's hoping it was it was going to. Um, but he shows it to his son and obviously this big fight breaks out. You know, they he really wishes he could be with his son more and the son wants to be with the dad more and he wants the dad to take him to concerts and go to his concerts and things like that so a big big fight breaks out and similar to freaky friday uh the two of them claim that if they had each other's lives they could do it better and things like that so they managed to switch bodies through this artifact that has special powers and so now the son is now the father, and now the father is now the son. So they're in each other's bodies, and to not get anybody suspicious, they have to go about the lives that everybody knows that they have so that nothing is too suspicious for anybody until they can figure out how to get each other's bodies back. And so kind of like Freaky Friday, it's kind of a story about learning about each other's lives and being able to see kind of what that person sees every day. So if they're bullied all the time, you kind of get to see why they're bullied all the time. And same with the the parent side of the story, you know, you kind of get to see what the job is like, how they're stressed all the time, how they're busy all the time. So this is clearly something that was explored in Freaky Friday and much, much better, I must say. And then the part where I bring big into the thing here. Uh, into the scenario is the fact that it's now a kid getting a chance to be an adult for a little bit and he goes right from being a kid to being that adult so very much in the spirit of big uh, very much grossed out by certain things that adults are doing uh, very much uh, doesn't understand business and wants to be able to talk to his dad and he doesn't understand anything when he when he's working and things like that so over the course of vice versa, these two guys have to figure out how to get each other's body backs and how the son can be the son again and how the father can be the father again. So overall, guys, I liked vice versa. But like I said here, the, the biggest issue I have with this movie is it's basically trying to be Freaky Friday and big in the same movie. And it really doesn't work as either one of those. Um, it works fine on its own terms when it's trying to do that. Um, but that was my biggest issue with this movie is I liked what I was watching, but at the end of the day, it just, I really wish I was watching either Big or Freaky Friday because both films pursue their concepts very well here. And just the fact that this film tries to do both concepts in the same movie is a little too overwhelming and it really doesn't work specifically for this movie. But I enjoyed this film overall, so I really can't say I hated vice versa. But for my positives and negatives of this movie, um, I think the kid and parent switching lives was kind of interesting um like i said freaky friday did this a million times better specifically the one with Lindsay lohan and jamie lee curtis i really like that version quite a bit um but it is interesting here you really get to kind of see how the kid being the businessman uh he's clearly not ready for and um the dad kind of gets some perspective on his kid now now that he's seeing what he's seeing in school and things like that and how he's dealing with bullies and having trouble getting his music noticed and everything like that 
Um, and then that goes into my next positive point. The two lead performances in this the, in this film are very good. So Fred Savage and Judge Reinhold to play those lead roles um, are very, very good. Whether it's the dad now being the son or the son now being the father and how they have to switch roles at one point in the movie. Uh, both actors do a very good job with this in this movie. So obviously Fred Savage was very young when this film was made. So um, yeah, obviously he was using his Wonder Years talent to really make the best of this role. And same with Judge Reinhold being the, the father slash kid and switching into his father's body kind of thing. Um, and then I, one thing I was really interested in when they were switching bodies in this was uh, business from the kid's perspective, how there's just so much that would go over a kid's head if they had to go into his dad's body for a day for a business meeting and things like that. So I thought that part of the film was really interesting when they switch bodies. It was just There was so much about his dad's life at work that he had no idea what was going on and no idea about some of the terminology and things like that. And some of the adult-to-kid behaviors I thought was really funny in this too, whether it's Fred Savage drinking a martini or... Um, Fred Savage wanting to read like a newspaper at school and him finishing the test really quickly because he knows all the basic math uh, questions and things like that. Or, um, you know, when it comes to, um, you know, his son being now the father in the father's body. Um, obviously, when he's on like his lunch break, he wants to party out with the rock and roll people because that's what he's an, into as a kid and everything. Uh, so I thought the behavior switches I thought was very funny to watch in this movie. Uh, one thing I also like too is that the film takes place around Christmas time and the fact that the father is in a toy business I thought helped the setting of this movie. Uh, so it kind of added more to the pressure and keeping up with Black Friday and the holiday season and things like that. Uh, so the fact that there was this big recall that the father has to deal with at one point when they're switching bodies and so now the son has to deal with this big thing that even his father was stressed out about with a toy recall um, I thought was very interesting in this movie and how they added it into the setting of the movie too. And overall, this is a pretty fun film. So even though I am criticizing this film for being too much like Freaky Friday and Big, um, it's a fun film to watch. There's things about it that are enjoyable. Um, the actress who played uh, Malcolm's mother and Malcolm in the Middle has a role in this movie. Um, I'm completely spacing on her name, unfortunately, but I'll have a link down in the description. Or not really a link, but... Um, cast member names down in the description below along with the synopsis of the movie so uh it's jane something but like i said i'm completely spacing on her name right now but it'll be in the description down below of all the cast members uh who appeared in this movie um, and for my negatives of vice versa, another thing I didn't like about this movie was there's an artifact hunter subplot about these two people who are trying to retrieve this skull artifact that made the father and the son switch bodies to begin with. It's a very lame subplot. Whenever they show up to try to get the skull artifact thing that clearly they were going to use for the wrong reasons, um, I really was kind of cringing the whole time. It really was not written very well for these two characters and these characters were just very annoying and kind of felt like they belong in like a Rocky and Bullwinkle cartoon with like one of the villains or something like that. Uh, I thought the, the subplot of that in this movie was very very lame unfortunately. Um, and like I said, for the most part, I think my biggest complaint with this movie, it is truly a weaker version of Freaky Friday and Big. Freaky Friday did the whole parent-child body swap thing a million times better. Uh, Big did a better job of making a kid, uh, making you believe a kid is in an adult's body and that he has to pursue um, an adult's career and things like that. Um, and obviously Tom Hanks was in that. And even though I'm not expecting Judge Reinhold to be as good as Tom Hanks, um, it just felt like a weaker film. And if it's a weaker film and it's not told as interestingly as Big or Freaky Friday, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to ding your film. You're just not being creative enough. I also thought even though this film isn't super long, it kind of felt long for some reason. Uh, so it's about an hour and 38 minutes. But for me personally, I think this film would have benefited from 10 to 15 minutes being cut from this movie. There's just a lot of scenes in here that really don't need to be in this. Um, and like I said, it just feels really long in the tooth by the end of the day. It just felt like everything could have been told quicker. There's just a lot of scenes that drag really badly and really could, could go make it to the point better than it does. 
and then that goes to my last negative point. Certain moments of this film really drag, and they really drag and are told very slowly. Um, there's this love interest that the dad has because um, he's divorced from this kid's mom, and so he's trying to you know pursue a new love interest and things like that. Um, there's a lot of scenes between him and his new love interest that really just kind of drag on, and it has really nothing to add to the story at all. And there's just a lot of moments like that that just kind of drag on forever and really don't add anything to this in particular story story of a father and a son switching bodies. But overall, I'm going to give Vice Versa 8 out of 10. It's an enjoyable movie, but like I said, the first thing everybody in 2020 or later is going to see in this movie is it's trying to be Freaky Friday and it's trying to be big and it just fails at being both. Even though it's entertaining to watch and the performances are good from both Judge Reinhold and Fred Savage at the time, it's enjoyable, but it's just trying to copy something that it is just not in the same league as, and it's really going to hurt this movie. And that's kind of, I think, why people have forgotten about this movie is the fact that it just isn't Freaky Friday and that it isn't big. It's clearly a much more subpar version of both of those movies. So 8 out of 10 for me. It's not a terrible movie, but like I said, I would see those other two films immediately before this one. Uh, vice versa gets an 8 out of 10. It's enjoyable. It's just nothing fantastic as a result, though.